Services can make all the difference in a city's success. But today's public transit systems are filled with some intractable problems. Time that was supposed to be productive has now been wasted commuting from one place to another. Take Londoners for example. The average person in London spends approximately 74 minutes on public transport every single day. This can negatively affect their everyday life with additional stress and tiredness at work. With people using public transport so frequently, the common challenges that occur can be frustrating for commuters and transport companies alike. In the same case as the Philippines, one of the challenges is the lack of an adequate public transportation infrastructure. Just like Mel Wan, a student who attends school from 7.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. and yet still has to travel back home to Bulacan. So, yung pangabuang biyahe ko mula Bulacan to Manila ay sumaabot siya ng two and a half hours to three hours. Nag- nakakalimang sakay kasi ako nakakalimang biyahe bago ako makarating sa TIP. So, yung two hours plus na yun, matatagal pa pag traffic? Oo, oh, tumatagal pa siya pag traffic. Para nakaka-apekto itong mga kinakaharap mo kasi sa pang-araw-araw ito ba? Um, nakaka-apekto siya kasi imbis na ilaan ko sa paggawa ng mga activities is nasasayang siya sa oras ng biyahe ko. Like for example, if ang biyahe ko is 30 minutes lang, pag traffic nagiging 1 hour, so yung 30 minutes dapat tapos ko na activity. Some commuters who are caught in traffic mess are also deprived of sleep, especially those who had to get up early the next day to avoid the morning rush and get to work on time. The same is the case for the students who have to go to school for their morning class. One of the many student commuters, Tyke Perez, has to wake up earlier than most since he lives far from school. Ilang oras ba yung biyahe ko kabo at kapunta school? So, sabi natin gigising ako ng 4. Alis ako sa bahay ng siguro mga 5. Uh, siguro inaabot ako ng 2 to 3 hours, yung mga ganun. Pero kapag traffic, mas matagal? Ah, pag traffic, mas matagal siguro. Sabi natin, pinakamatagal ko nakaraan is mga ano, uh, 5 to 6 siguro. Okay. Traffic jams can cause delays in many areas of our life. And that delayed time may cause so much inconvenience to people. Hmm, katulad na unpredictable schedules. Halimbawa, yung pasok ka is pang 6am. Yung dumadating yung tren ng 7am or 8am. So, malilay talaga ako. Wala akong ibang way kundi mag-MRT na lang. Nearly all commuters are aware of Mr. Harris' struggles because they too go through similar ones. While commuters find traffic to be a major annoyance, drivers also appear to feel burdened by the delays. However, what's worse than this is, it can also have a role in vehicle collisions at times just like what happened in Grapevine, California. Running late for work, keeping up with traffic, or simply going over the speed limit unintentionally are some of the leading causes of speeding-related accidents. Unfortunately, it is a common case, and Jaden Taktakin is here as one of the people who experienced it. Sa biyahe mo bilang isigante, may 
Karanasan ba na bang insidente kung saan napahamang ka? Meron. Yung time na galing akong Manila, papunta akong Cavite, yung sinasakyan ko, and then may may bus na paparating, nag-uunahan sila, nag-overtaken sila, and then nagkasalpukan yung bus na sinasakyan ko, and then yung salamin sa gilid ko, kung saan ako nakaupo, is nabasag, eh, mabuti naman, eh, wala namang sugat or natamo. Bakit sa tingin nyo, eh, yung ibang driver ay nagiging kaskasero? Siguro, iniisip lang iba, nag-aapod ng kita. Pwede gano'n, kasi may mga oras din tayo na, ano, na mahalaga, papo. Yari dito, meron ako dito. May kukunin ako doon. So, pag daunahan ako nito, kumbaga sa'yo, kumbaga, ano yan, competition yan. Traffic has unfortunately become a way of life in the Philippines so much so that we placed third in terms of the worst traffic in Southeast Asia. This has a negative effect on our health. Legion warns that staying too long inside a vehicle during traffic jumps can be detrimental to health due to air pollution if the vehicle is open. Aliyara Agas is one of the few who was a victim of this due to transportation issues. Aliyah, bilang insidente, ano-ano yung kinakaharap mong pagsubok sa tuwing nagpukumit ka araw-araw? Siyempre, ano pa nga ba? Traffic. And yung mga uh, pollution. Kasi uh, isa akong tao na sakitin. Meron akong allergic rhinitis. So, Kapag naano ko ng usok or mga dumi, ayun, natitrigger siya. So, throughout the day, sobrang sa, ah, ang sakit sa ilong, ang sakit sa ulo. Pag, ha, syempre, hatching ka ng hatching. Tapos, ayun, sobrang, ano niya, hirap. Yung pollution, dumadagdag pa siya sa health ko. Ano nangyari, may mga araw din na wala ako kasi may sakit ako. So, ayun, so, sobrang hirap. Kung wala pa pa-absent ka sa school mm -hmm. na rinata. All these questions concerning traffic congestion have been plaguing not only the Philippines but also the world. Not only does traffic congestion have a harmful effect on ecology, cause air and noise pollution, and impact the quality of life, it also results in more travel time and fuel consumption. Considering all of this, it raises the question of what is the most effective way to address traffic congestion? Should something be implemented? According to one of the modern jeepney drivers, Dapat lang para lahat, asyahan, katawag mo. Para yung pasahero hindi ibrata, In the same manner, when we asked for a possible suggestion, here is what he said. Yung huli po namin tanong is, may naisip po ba kayong panukala na dapat ipatupad para mas maging maayos ang mga biyay para sa drivers at mga commuters? Oh, eh, dapat kasi, alam mo, di ba, wa, eh, di ba, di ba, di ba, di ba, crossing, crossing, di ba? Apo. Eh, di ba, di ba, yung kamila, di ba, may isat yung iba, ba? Apo. Kaya na, kasi, dapat gawin niya, yung pagpusok na daan, yung closing, Gawa na skyway para okay. direct yun yung pataas. Para tuloy-tuloy okay. po yun. Tuloy-tuloy yun yung pataas. Di ba po na sa kabila? Para sa kabila naman, sa itahin nila na daan. Wala naman, di ba? Kung hindi lang kabara ng traffic, ganun dapat nila gawa na. Di ba? However, this project already exists. On January 13, 2021, President Rodrigo Rawa Duterte led the inauguration of the Metro Manila Skyway Stage 3 project an elevated expressway that will relieve major through fares within the National Capital Region or Metro Manila from heavy traffic. Arguably, the most tangible benefit is easing the horrific traffic, particularly along EDSA. 
with an estimated 200,000 vehicles passing Skyway 3 each day, around half of EDSA traffic will be reduced. All these will greatly benefit productivity as one need not sit in traffic all day.